and welcome back to another episode of Headphones Neil Reviews. I'm your host, as always, Headphones Neil, bringing you a more rounded episode of stuff to talk about for this week. So I do have a movie review, a TV show update, and then I'll round it out with Android tip and this week's um, video game update. And then I'm going to round it out also with another update of things I've been testing out for this week, and then uh, more about that going on in the future. So to start it off, I had a chance to watch the Marvels, and overall, I actually enjoyed the film. It seemed like it had gotten panned in the um, ratings with the audience, and looking at the um, so I or actually sorry, looking at the Rotten Tomato score, it was actually not that bad. Where it was, I think, like in the low 60s with the critics and like the low 80s with the audience. So yeah, 62% with the critics and 82% with the audience. So not terribly received, so I'm not sure about what was going on or if it was just general social media outrage versus actually a good or bad film. But for me personally, overall, I enjoyed it. So I definitely recommend watching it if you just want a good Marvel's movie, if you like any of the actresses. Um, or anything like that. For me, the thing that stood out was the fight sequences. So the early or the first one with all three Marvels where they're um, using their powers and teleporting between each of their realities. And that whole thing was very well done. And then even the final one where they're working together as a team, their training sequence and all of that was very, very well done. So overall, an enjoyable film. I liked all the interactions with... Um, Nick Fury's and it actually made me want to learn more about what he's been doing up at Saber. Is he the Kree or the scroll, scroll or whatever at that point? Um, how did he get up there? How did all of that start and all of that stuff? So it actually gave me an entertaining film and made me ask a couple of questions of wanting more and things like that. So I definitely recommend giving the film a watch. And it also introduces us into the um, Marvel's um, universe because we have an introduction of the um, ec pro the um, school for gifted individuals or students or whatever it's called the Professor X school and we have a cameo appearance by the Beast so all in all definitely worth watching. On a related note as of uh, February uh, 15th we got the trailer for the Marvel 97 tr um, tr the trailer for the Marvel 97 series or season that's coming in March of 2024, so definitely give that a watch if you haven't seen it yet. Um, the thing that stands out in that trailer is the end revelation or end statement by Magneto that he was willed all of Professor X's assets, so everything now belongs to him. So I'm kind of curious to learn more about that. Um, so we'll see how that goes in March. Um, otherwise, I had a chance to start watching Vikings, so I'm a couple of episodes in. Overall, super intriguing season because now we've got the Vikings, notably um, Ivar going to Russia and meeting up with some of the Russian Vikings. Um, and then we have um, Bjorn becoming king of Kattegat, so all of that. So a lot of different dynamics going on and progression, so I'm really intrigued to see what happens in this season. But I'm still only a couple of episodes in, but I will say I'm intrigued, so we'll see how that goes. With that being said, for this week's Android tip, um, I wanted to continue with what I did last week with O Launcher and Pro Launcher and go in the other direction in the form of a more customizable launcher in the form of uh, Nova Launcher. So, where O Launcher and Pro Launcher are very minimalist, aim to get you in and out of um, using your launcher and using the your phone. Nova Launcher aims to give you all of the features of Android in a way that's very customizable and easy to use. Where if you um, when you install it, you can be overwhelmed with the features, but once you get used to what everything can do. 
And if you take it step by step, then you have a very powerful, lightweight, easy to use launcher. So you can do things like set your um, home screen grid size to um, as small or as big as you want. So like the OnePlus launcher lets you go from I think 3x3 or 4x4 up to 5x6. But with Novo launcher you can do you know 3x3 all the way up to or you know go up to like you know 7x10 or 10x12 and things like that. Like depending on your screen size and all that of course. But you have a lot more customizability so if you want bigger, smaller or icons and things like that it's very easy to use and set up. You can do the same thing with your app drawer and then you can adjust your app drawer to be vertical or horizontal scrolling. Um, you can turn your dock on and off. You can set the number of icons in your dock from I think one all the way up to now 10 or something like that. So or nine or 10. So it's very, very powerful to do customize things like that. And then it supports icon packs to the point where you can do a blanket application of an icon pack. But let's say like in my case, I only want to change the icons on my home screen. You can change individual icons as well. So you have that option. And then, you know, you can easily resize widgets, uh, adjust the padding. So if you wanted to fill your whole screen or have a little bit of padding around your widgets, you can do things like that. So um, all in all, all sorts of stuff you can do with Nova Launcher. Um, there are other similar launchers that do things like that as well, like Smart Launcher, Action Launcher, and things like that. But for me, um, Nova Launcher, I, I always go back to Nova Launcher just because it's always the one that is lightweight, easy to use, consistently good, regular updates, um, generally no issues. I mean, not to say other ones have issues, but like for me, I used to like Action Launcher quite a bit because of the page that it would give, but once... Um, the OnePlus launcher added that it, I kind of didn't need it and I do kind of like the theming options that are an action launcher but um, it always feels kind of heavy on my OnePlus device and I think it might just be a OnePlus thing because I don't remember it ever being that heavy so um, not so not to say that it's a bad or bad launcher I actually still really like it and what it does especially with that um, side page that you can have but just on my OnePlus device it feels kind of heavy so at some point I'm going to give it another shot but for me Nova Launcher is the one to go with. So with that being said I'm going to round out this week's episode with my update for Doom Delta. So as of this recording I am now done with episode 2 The Shores of Hell and overall I'm still enjoying the game quite a bit. I think um, I've only died once in the game maybe and I, now I'm forgetting because I do try to get screenshots while I'm um, playing the game and I, but I might have done it after a couple of times and I might have died then. But overall I'm having a good time this time around just because I'm having some good muscle memory as far as all the individual levels. Like for me I was drawing a blank on any of those chores of hell levels except for the last one with the cyber demon but then as i started playing with them and navigating them a lot of them fell into place to the point where i remembered a lot of stuff i might not remember where every single one of the you know secret areas is but as far as level design where to go general navigation i'm remembering a lot of it um i'm liking a lot of the weapons and their functionality so it is nice having that um submachine gun the wolfenstein wolfenstein 3d style gun in there is nice to use it's becoming my favorite weapon for the game and then um having the um rail gun um power up and then like power up to full speed is super nice and cool it's a nice little animation to be able to do that um i like the plasma guns effects but it does feel like that is a very beta feature so i actually like the final version of that a little bit more so nothing good or bad there but it's just nice to I mean, I like the plasma gun regardless, but the final version of that is very good. So the thing that I was thinking as I was playing the second level was it feels like now in retrospect, they could have had a trilogy of Doom games where the first Doom boss could have been the Cyber Demon and have him show up in at the end of the third level. And then in the second game, Doom 2, have the spider mastermind there and then in doom 3 have the icon of sin and kind of split it up that way so you have big bosses at the end of each game so having the spider mastermind and cyber demon both in one game feels kind of a bit much where because you know with having the barons of hell in the first game and then the cyber demon works to a good progression and then they could have done the same thing with you know the spider mastermind and 
um maybe a, you know the mini spiders whatever those mini spider masterminds are called or have um the hell knights or something like that in the second game to lead you into the spider mastermind and then bring them all together in doom 3 and have them all combine into one big game or something like that so in retrospect i kind of would have liked to see something like that um i think that was i think that's probably to me after all these years that's why it kind of feels like it was hard to have a doom 3 because you have you know three big villains already defeated so either coming up with another one or coming up with something different or another boss would be hard to do short of you know having the devil himself but then it's like you already have the icon of sin so um things like that are always it's always hard to plan i mean i'm not a game developer but just thinking broadly as far as story goes that's kind of what it feels like they should have done in retrospect so with that being said that is actually all for this particular episode so the one little update that i wanted to give was um, if you've been following along on the um, YouTube channel, you'll see that I've been putting up shorts all of this week. So I did start last weekend with an introductory post about shorts. So something I've been wanting to do and thinking about for the past few months or so is to put out more short form content. So just quick one minute updates of, you know, I watch something so review it or here's a gameplay update of what I've been up to. So kind of do a little bit more stuff like that. So. As of this recording, you'll see, so I did, I put something up um, for every day of this week. So, you know, um, Doom Delta gameplay updates. I gave my review for the Marvel or a hot take review of the Marvels. I did the same thing for the X-Men trailer. So um, for this year, that's something that I'm going to be doing a little bit more of, or hopefully a lot more of. So this week was kind of a trial run to <coughs> check on available, like timing of it, getting it recorded. And yes, I'm probably going to try scheduling them, but not, you know, you know, days and days in advance. So just maybe if I have something that I finish watching today, then I'll record it and have it um, up on the YouTube channel publicly the following day. So, you know, a quick turnaround like that, just a quick recording, get it posted. Ideally, I'm going to try to do it for the same day, but, you know, by next day as well, depending on my work schedule, when I record it and things like that. But Basically, yeah, look, at, so in addition to, you know, the audio version of the podcast up on YouTube, gameplay updates, now you can um, look out for um, shorts as well. I have a playlist created as well, so um, if you want to, you know, easily get to those shorts, then you can uh, check out those um, um, videos there in the playlist. I'll have them date stamped as well, so you know that, so that's easier to get, or it's easy to get a more date relevant um idea of when those reviews were posted so um i just wanted to throw it out there that yes i am going to be getting in now you know better late than ever as far as shorts go and just do quick short form updates something that i wanted to do you know just something a little bit extra so you know in addition to the podcast at the end of every week which is a longer review gives me more time to talk and think and detail you know big more thoughts about what i'm doing um during the week, I'm going to do those, those um, quick reviews there and updates and things like that. So you have more stuff during the week and then the podcast will be a more uh, thought out explanation of stuff. So um, with that being said, that's all for this particular episode. But now that I'm done with the second episode of Doom, I'm going to jump right into the third episode. Um, I'm going to stop with the Spider Mastermind. So episode three, Inferno. Um, just because this was a Doom Delta gameplay rather than a full initial gameplay. So once I'm done with um, episode three, then I'm going to jump into the um, uh, Knights of the Old Republic gameplay. So I put another gameplay up this week um, just to do some testing there um, because I did do a factory reset on my phone. I upgraded to Android 14. So I wanted to... Um, make sure everything was still working that i could copy all that stuff over and everything still worked so um i might do a quick update there so depending i'll probably actually i'll probably just wait till after i'm done with doom just to give that update of what my plans are there i did give a little bit up of an update last week as far as the character build but um i had an idea during this week that i need to hash out so 
once I'm done with Doom, I'll give that update for my character model of what I thought of and finish that, hashing that out as well. But that is all for this particular episode. Thanks for tuning in. Um, the website is headphonesneal.reviews for subscription links supporting the show and all of that good stuff. Um, the Patreon is patreon.com slash patelN01 if you want early access and ad free version of the show and all of that. Um, and of course, the YouTube channel is youtube.com slash patelN01. But that is all for this particular episode. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time.